what is going on guys? We got the uh, LS1 right here going in the Porsche Cayman. So first off, we're gonna pull the valve covers, pull the front timing cover, see what it looks like on the inside because it came from LKQ and it was a little dirty when I got it. We're gonna throw the BTR Stage 4 cam uh, dual valve springs with steel retainers, comp cams, trunnion upgrade, which is a really funny word. We're gonna make sure everything look, looks good on the inside because, you know, you gotta make sure. This is Logan. Say hi. Hey, bud. You'll get a Reddit page about you now. We just hired him. He's also a Florida boy. This is his wonderful girlfriend, Fallon. She's taking apart this shit. Parting out the Miata. Matt's over there fucking hyped with the damn LS. <laughs> How happy are you on a scale of one to 10? I'm not that happy. It's just an LS one. It's not that cool, but yeah. I just be spending money, man. You were, this man's bought a girl's Gucci wallet. Yeah. How do you feel about that, Logan? What, the Gucci wallet? Yeah. yeah. It's fucking pretty tight. Tight. Now, we got the valve covers off. Everything is really clean in here. Uh, the mileage on this engine was like a hundred something thousand, but I'm pretty happy with how clean it is. Got the front cover off, and again, really clean in there. And no build up on this. Super, super hyped on that. Right now, we got the cam. Cover thing pulled, got the timing gear. This is a little cam cover thing I was talking about. I don't know, holds the camshaft in. I don't know the name for it. Got to put these rods in here to hold the lifters in place. Put some bolts in there, just give you a good grabbing point. And then we can kind of just carefully pull it out. So I'm probably going to have to use both hands. Yes, Corey? I put a hole in the windshield, is that okay? Okay. It's just a Miata, it's fine. Okay, cool. You know what's funny? Is Boogan edits my videos and that's his car, or it was his car. I put a hole in your windshield. Sorry. He got a new Miata though, which is sick. Shouts out to his new Miata. Totally got ahead of myself. We got to pull the uh, rocker arms before we pull the cam out, obviously. One camshaft. Good shit. So now we're installing the dual valve springs, which are these right here. So there's a little one on the inside, big one on the outside. It just gives you more spring pressure. So it's a lot stiffer than the factory ones, which are right here. Gotta pull the factory ones out and change the upper and lower retainers. Uh, the new Clippy Boys and new valve guide seals as well, just cause you're in there, might as well change it. I have this fancy tool here, which is not very fancy at all. Made it myself, you can buy these on the internet all over the place. Start threading it by hand. Tuck it down. And we're gonna use a ratcheting wrench to save a lot of time. Before I start, you're gonna wanna hook air into the cylinder. There we go. I accidentally started a little soon. There's a pop, that's the retainers coming loose. Pull these out, don't lose them. Don't drop them in your engine. Loose this. It's about all the way. Take the impact. Finish it off. And then we take our 9 16th 12 point socket. That's just what works for me. Other sizes might work better, but this does the job. One or two little taps with a hammer. Take out some of these boys, and boom. That pulls the old valve guide seal out. Then you just gotta finesse it out of here, which is kind of a bitch. Boom, throw that on the ground. I use a magnet tool to get the lower, the lower valve seat, retainer, whatever you wanna call it out. Lower seat in. Grab a valve guide seal, throw some oil on it. Just make sure it's nice and looped up, otherwise you'll mess it up. Push it on. We just got this fancy tool from BTR. 
which is a valve guide seal install tool. Usually I, usually I just push them on with a socket, which totally works, but this makes it way easier, way quicker. Um, I actually found these on Amazon, so I will post the link in the description below, and you can scoop one of them if I remember. And then boom, valve spring goes on, the upper retainer goes on, tool goes back on. Start hand threading it first just to be, just to be safe. Boom, drop some tools on the ground for good measure. Get your nose with the clean part of your hand so your face doesn't get all dirty. Boom, boom, throw the new retainer clippy boys in. Boom. Sometimes they don't really want to stay. A little bit of oil can help them to stay. Um, or you can just kind of hold them with your hand while you're loosening this until they're in the correct spot. And then you can just, boom. And impact. Just like that. And we do it, you know, 16 times. All right, so Dom was cleaning out the shop. Let me clean my lens real quick. Dom was cleaning up the shop and we found this lovely- Masterpiece. Masterpiece, honestly. Oh, oh, she's flying. Oh, ooh, ooh. We should put this in Corey's, Corey's video. And Corey's not here. He's gonna be gone for like six hours. Yeah, he's gonna be gone for six hours. So we're giving him some Modifications. It doesn't matter if it's centered, just slap her on there. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's gonna oh. look so <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. Oh, it's so uncentered. Oh no, it's not sticking. It's not sticking. Yeah, it is. Mine side's not. Oh, dude, look at the O. Oh, God. And the S. You guys are. You guys are good at this. Oh. We are terrible at this. We're not sorry. <laughs> oh no. Dude, my mossy oak looks, looks so bad at the same time. It's beautiful. It's so fitting for this car. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's so not centered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Corey's gonna be so mad. Wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah. You can see it? He's gonna notice it immediately. Oh my god, I love it. All right, so now we are going to do the trunnion upgrade, which is the pivot point on these is apparently pretty weak from the factory, and you replace it with some of these thicker solid boys right there. Here's some of the ones I've already done. You can see the difference. It'll focus. We got that big solid round right there with better roller bearings and also uh, they get C-clips on the outside, whereas these are just, or these are just pressed in. Um, so we're gonna press the old ones out, press the new bearings in, and then afterwards we can throw the C-clips on there. It's easy if you have a press. Couple sockets, uh, these tools they give you with the Trunnion upgrade kit. And then yeah, you basically just go for it. So the way I do it is I just do a few of them at a time, usually four of them at a time per step, just to make it a little bit more efficient as far as resetting up the press and whatnot. So we'll go. Boom. Press those out. This goes in the trash can. All right, so now we pressed one of the bearings in to the rocker arm housing thing. Then we're gonna take the new upgraded thingamajig, put that in there, and then we're gonna take the other bearing, 
They say to make sure the text is facing out. Don't know why, but that's what they say. So I'm gonna listen to them. They're the professionals. Then we use the install kit to give the, uh, the rocker arm some room to be pressed on. And Centered as you're going down, which I'm having trouble with apparently. Usually I do the first try, but I can't do it under all this pressure with you guys. Press it, don't put too much pressure, just a little bit. And there it is. I, I notice it doesn't always spin after you're done pressing it, and just a few little, a few little taps. Boom, and then it rotates freely it doesn't have any side to side play and it's good and then just repeat that for all of them so i've been searching for some wheels i came across these on facebook marketplace for three hundred dollars they're pretty good shape overall 18 by 10 18 by 8 5 i believe they're bbs reps so they're not real two pieces got the fake bolt but they will definitely work go test fit the rears on the car and see because there's also a set of work vsxx's that's just hard to say uh, on Facebook as well for a little bit more money, but they're real three-piece. They are 19 by 11.5 in the rear, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit that. Once I test these out, we'll see kind of where we're going to be sitting, and then we can go from there and see what the uh, what the possibility of fitting those big boys on are going to be. And we got the motor mostly back together. Um, I'm still waiting on the push rods from Brian Tooley. I don't know when we'll get those, but not a big deal because we got the valve covers back on. Got the LS4 crank pulley on, and you can see how it's not even all the way tightened, so it'll be all the way back. See how shallow it is? It's nice. Got the intake manifold turned around. Since it's a mid-engine car, the transmission will obviously be here. Back wheels and the front of the car will be that way. So the only way to fit this is like this. I'm just going to use this for test fitting. I will probably end up going with a different intake manifold, uh, most likely the Fast LSXR. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. A lot of the times they build like a quick little 90 that brings the throttle body to like there or something. And that's just to... Uh, fit it inside the engine bay and not uh not be poking into the rear trunk area um also still got a lot of cleaning to do still really dirty didn't get this sealed on because i don't have a gasket for it but not in a rush for that and a lot of more cleaning dirty stuff all right and we are outside so it's a little dark but here is the wheel fitment pretty good uh gonna drop it on a two by four lower it down and see what it's gonna look like without massive wheel gap but it fits, it clears the inside just barely, barely clears there. So we're good. So unfortunately we didn't get a lot of squat because we're on stock suspension with no engine in here. So fitment is garbage in that direction. But in this direction, we're pretty good. Like there's lined up, you know, it's a little in there just barely inside the fender. Uh, could use a little bit of a spacer, but I think this will work a lot better than the 11.5s I was looking at. The 11.5s would have been 29 millimeters out further, along with nine millimeters in further, which I wouldn't even be able to fit. Since that's the case, uh, can't really go with those wheels. I'm gonna have to go with these or something similar. I'll just go with these and call it a day, I guess, for now, till we wide body it, because. I'm an idiot. And now I get to show you more of the goodies that I got for this car because I got a lot of goodies coming and I got a lot of goodies already. So here you go. Oh shit, look. Sideways fab sticker. You can cop one of those on the website. Hat. <laughs> but AEM Infinity wiring harness. Got these fancy ass connectors. Uh, these are actually Molex connectors. And a bunch of wire. Comes with its own little fuses there. Uh, this is for the AEM Infinity 7 or something. Infinity 8 slash 10 slash 812. I don't know. It's the one I need to go with the... So they make an AEM plug and play sort of with the CAN bus protocol for the, 98, the 997 Porsches. This being a 987 uses the same CAN bus protocols. So that stuff should work. I guess we'll really see. It's only a 20 or it's a $3,000 ECU. A uh, buddy of mine's actually hooking me up, giving me a slight discount on that. I'm not in a huge rush for that because I still need wire it and install everything. But that is all for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Got a lot more updates coming soon. Uh, need to, you know, like I was saying, buy more parts. Need to figure a lot of things out. A lot of stuff is going to be custom. And then I'm going to try to order as much as I can because that saves me time and saving me time saves money and it costs more money usually 
but sometimes it's cheaper to just buy something. So, got to do that. Stay tuned for more updates, and hopefully, I'm going to work on this thing soon. I just got some new parts from my buddies over at GT Racing. So we're going to install those and maybe get some more progress going because I know you guys have been impatient about that. So thanks for watching.